Hey, how's it going? Roby here. Welcome back to the channel. Not too long ago, I had the opportunity to check out some of Breitling's B0142 chronomats, and I really thought they were something. I guess I'm on record as being a bit of a fanboy, and my own 2007 Aerospace still commands the majority of my wrist time. But actually, today we're going to talk about something that was released earlier this year, the Super Chronomat B0144 in titanium. Check it out. George Kearns knows his audience. The Super Chronomat falls into what Breitling have dubbed modern retro. Here we have the newest of these Super Chronomats, the Titanium B0144, and it does what Breitling does best, brash. However, this time around, it takes a right turn at tool and heads straight toward luxury. As its name suggests, the Super Chronomat B0144 is 44 millimeters in diameter and 14.4 millimeters thick, if you have a smaller wrist, you really have to lean into the size here, as the watch is also 53.5 mm lug to lug. With a 22 mm lug width, the Super Chronomat is aggressively athletic. Unlike other stainless steel iterations of the 2020 Chronomat line, the titanium here is satin brushed with fine chamfers along the top of the mid case and over the lugs. The lighter, tougher material mitigates the size somewhat, but takes nothing away from its commanding wrist presence. On the strap, it weighs a mere 121 grams. Nods to the 80s can be found everywhere here. The domed and fluted crown, along with the pushers, are reminiscent of earlier models, only now they are fashioned from ceramic and look fantastic in gloss black to match the bezel insert. Notably, those pushers are also screwed down. On the aforementioned insert, we find familiar rider-styled tabs and along the edge, 12 distinctive protruding screws. The bezel is 120 clicks and unidirectional, with no backplay. It is equipped with an elapsed time dive scale and the watch is water resistant to 200 meters. Under its sapphire crystal, the Super Chronobat B0144 features a broad, polished baton handset and matching applied hour markers with an hour-tipped chronograph hand in the perfect shade of blue to break up the monochromatic colorway. The anthracite dial is vertically brushed and equipped with three recessed sub-registers, all boast a fine, concentric azurage. In the rayo, there is an angle tachometer scale, and in the centrally located sub-dial, there is a color match date window. The dial elements and the bezel are treated with superluminova. Powering the Super Chronomat is the in-house B01, first introduced in 2009. It's a 4 Hz, 47 Joule movement with a 70 hour power reserve. The column wheel chronograph is COSC certified and promises accuracy within minus 4 to plus 6 seconds a day. You can view it through the exhibition case back. The watch is featured here on a rubber strap, designed to resemble the brand's Rouleau bracelet. It features intricate texturing and tapers from 22mm at the lugs to 20mm at the titanium deployant clasp. It can also be purchased on the bracelet. Other than its austere colorway, which is perfect with the titanium case, there is nothing subtle about the Super Chronomat B0144. The watch looks like it belongs in the instrument panel of a luxury vehicle. The proliferation of polished black ceramic lends the timepiece a sense of distinction and flair, while the brush case and matte dial rein it in somewhat. I love the strap. It is sporty and robust and maintains the characteristic Breitling aesthetic. The manufacturer movement is a proven entity and it looks good through the exhibition crystal. Overall, the Super Chronomat B0144 is distinguished by fine craftsmanship and a bold design. But as always, let us know what you think in the comments section below. And until next time, thanks for watching.